storm still seems to be hanging around. But being inside can be deceiving. Uh. Welcome back to another episode of Skyrim with Agent Ramon Coros. Stones of Berenzoa. Nice warm air, there's a lot of heat being put out by this thing. It's not too bad um, type of tea, keeps the dankness of the place. Oh, there is a little bit of sunlight there, somehow. Uh, anyways, we're going to go and have a long trip to um, Marketh. Slightly thirsty, hungry and wasted. Um hard to why I'm not got any bread on me. Um, I'll have some of that mud crab chowder. I'm full and my thirst is quenched. Mm, nice filling meal. Uh. Oh, well I've been this morning. Right. To Marcus. Um, cause I haven't got it together this morning. No, that's right, I'm wasted. Um, I'll have uh, a flag and a herbal tea. That should fix me up. dumped a lot of stuff in there, um, all my alchem alchem alchemical ingredients because um, I'm going to have to come back and make up a heap of stuff use it all up because I've got a pile of it and uh, I'm really going to need it thing is I've got to um, sell all the uh, old stuff because that's just taking up a lot of room. I'm not going to be able to take it all with me. Um, can I have any of this? Iron dagger, iron great sword, branded shield, iron steel. Imperial steel dagger. I might, uh, next dagger I get, I might start dual wielding daggers. Might have a maid. Her eyes open on a sapphire. There's more to hear her than meets the eye. Oh, there's a cloud there. I know I slept in. Must be lunchtime. Look at it. Yeah, it's lunchtime. <coughs> oh my goodness, mate. <laughs> They're reforming the Dawn Guard. Look at my lamp on. Or something in the old yep. fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. All right, go there. What do you need? Yes. Hmm? That's all. Right. Just thinking about my experiments. Oh, did you need something? Dragons breathing fire in the sky. What are they on about with dragons? Half yeah. nerd. What do you need? I just said hello. All right then. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Need something? 
Yes. <sighs> That's me, Hollis. Hopefully I'm not carrying too much crap on that horse. I should make a stash by it somewhere. Good morning. Got horses that need shoeing, so make it quick. Must be dangerous living outside these walls. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. <laughs> not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms at all of Skyrim. Oh, look, I'm not interested in getting, next time. getting into a fist fight. Ugh, thanks for looking after me, horse. All these... I know that type of mentality person. Might not be bright, but I can lift heavy things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. <sighs> Beautiful day. Brisk as usual in Skyrim. Ah. Well, there's Maven's house down this road. I'll have to, um, I want to get some potions together. Uh, invisibility potions or spell um, so I can uh, get in there because it's pretty heavily um, guarded maybe I should try this Golden Glow Estate caper have a practice run oh well we've got a long ride so if anything happens um, I'll show it to you soup. I made it especially for the journey. They should warm me up. After that snow of going over the mountains. We um we bypassed Helgen because rumour is there's military oops. Um, military operations are in there so we went up this way and we came down that way so we might just make it there by nightfall but there's a great inn I've heard that's um, I think it's about here Crossroad Inn, run by elves. And so, might stay there tonight. Skyrim weather. Um, what do you got for sale? Here for I heard the gourmet is hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, take a look. Well, 
Oh, you garlic. And your salt. And uh, snowberries. I need some for another potion. I should just grab this out of paddocks. I shouldn't have to pay for it. I might have... Uh... Alright, see you later. Hi. Hello, little girl. Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice, shouted him apart. Yeah, if you believe that, you believe in dragons. You're that one from the. Hey, stop being nosy. Money, okay. Could have got a good free horse if I didn't have one. Ugh. Oh, the Dwemer city of Marka. the whole province. <sighs> it took me half a day. I ignored a lot of um no guards. Ignored a lot of um bears and wolves attacking me and What do you need? Need a good bed. Sore ass. Everybody's about ready to call it a day by the looks of it. The bloodiest beef in the reach. <laughs> the finest jewelry in all of Markar. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Fresh meat for your stomach? I work silver, like my father, and his father before him. Really? My wife, Kira, runs our jewelry stall in the market. Okay, so you mine silver and make jewelry, that's pretty good. I have silver to bend. Okay. Must be her. Must be his wife. The finest jewelry in all of Markarth. Hello. Are you looking for a gift for a friend, perhaps? Or a lover? Ooh. Uh did I and uh, this city looks so ancient. Have you been here long? My family came here centuries ago. We made a good living smithing the silver that flows through the city. But you probably wanted to know about the fancy carvings and stonework, didn't you? Travelers always do. Here. I have a delivery I need to make to Calcimo. Why don't you take it to him? He knows the history of Markarth better than anyone. Well, that's handy. Oh, I've got to see Calcimo, so I'll make sure he gets it. Thank you. He can be a bit difficult, but I'm sure he'll appreciate your help. Yeah, I'll have to do it tomorrow because I think it's too late to go and see him tonight. What do you got for sale? Beautiful things for beautiful people. 
How about a lockpick? Bring a modern magica. Come back if you need a new ring or necklace. Okay. My favorite My drink. ring. Let's get some meat. Oh. Nice looking lady wandering around. Break the law in Markarth, and it's off to sit in the mine with you. Ah. Yeah, they got the king of the force worn and it's in the mine. Um, I gotta go and do a B and E there tonight. It's probably too early. She's probably still open. So what will I do? I'll get a room here. I probably should have stayed outside. Get a room here and um, have a feed and a snap, and then I'll go and uh, do the job. Some refreshing um, spring water. Whew. Wash my face a little. Oh, it's not cheap in here either, I don't think. Was I supposed to bring him something? Some are saying the Sigic monks have been seen in Skyrim. Hello. Ancient order. Just here to drink. Barkeep. Which as soon as I get there, he goes to the bar. Yeah. Make them freaking pricks, these people. Speak, Elf. Barkeep. This is the Silver Blood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Um, didn't I see that? I oh, probably, this is a, probably you saw him the first time I was here. Um, we got for sale. Take a look. Oh, boy, you got it. Honey time. Jimmy the berries are absolutely cheap. And uh boil Billy salt pile. I might get you a wheat. You know, I don't need that. Me with Jupe and the berry. Oh, that's roughly the same price I might. I'm gonna start watching my money, I'm running out. I've got to go and earn some more money. Just assassin well, I haven't been paid for the last jobs. But then I've been seventy four, don't think I'll pay seventy four for that. Um I've still got that mud crab chowder I'll I better eat the stuff I got on me without buying more, I'll be still here tomorrow. Uh, baked potatoes. Alright. Um Have you got any rooms available? Uh, just tonight. I'll show you to your room, right this way. I. Oh, stay in bed. I must be out lying on the ground. I got a complimentary bottle of wine, some cheese, cooked beef for tea, for breakfast. I can hide, I can store stuff here. Oh, there's um, black robes to wear, comfy black robes. Too bad they haven't got a bath. You can take a bath. There's something to piss in. All right. Um, Let me know if there's anything else you need. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Uh, what's in the chest? Well, I'll have a nap before. Hopefully, everybody will be asleep. Oh, 
Good night. I sleep in bed. Oh, geez, it feels like I only just got to bed. Why? Okay. Oh, what am I? I'm hungry and thirsty. Um, I still got a side bam. Bear meat. Uh, I'll do it later on today. I'm hungry. Oh, wrong thing. I'll have some of that hunter stew with some um, dipped with some bread. I can have some water. Um, I'll have some normal water. That's uh, ball water from spring water. It's not as, um, just decreases the spring water, greatly decreases thirst. Right, oh, I'm going to do this B and E. Need something? <sighs> Well, this should, um... Strained. She's still awake. Who's, who's he? Well, so much for my pile of alchemy ingredients. I haven't got much time left, it's going to be dawn soon. See, I'm probably friggin' lost in here again. Who's he? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh, that was a courier. What? Let's see here. Looks Where like is he? It. Got to go. I wish he'd tell you. I should tell you what he gives you. I think I'll be able to go back there again. One of the gods said you saw on the age of Pia. That must have been a bit of a glitch. Oh, freak me, I'm lost again. That is the dead. Oh, this is the Hag's Cure again.
Nope. Sorry. Nothing. What's this little dog doing here? Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Spoiled the whole thing with him glitching in and out of the play, gl glitching here. Make a clean sleep of the place. Nope. Sorry. Nothing. Uh, who's this? Everybody's turning up. Make it quick. Ah, uh, traveller. I'll try and do something else. Someone is. What are they doing open at this time of the morning? Ah. That sport my whole robbing experience. Well, I'd better go and have a bit of a nap. Um, well, I've got to see Khalees at home. You're naked. Stop walking in on people when they're in bed. Uh, is it my fault that I like to, don't like to sleep with my armour yes. on? 
Hey, I've got that bed. Mm hmm? Well, you got nothing else to do except sit down in my room. I've got this yes. room for 24 hours. A legend we all know. Um. Pickish. Pickish. Uh, style apple. I'll have uh, some potato soup with um, dunk with some bread. With a voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil. Of right, the going to see this Carissimo. Oh, that, that was the finest message that. that Dead into Frostfall. to be in one of those places. Uh, where is it? One looks like it's White Run. The other looks like it's Bulkreath. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. Well, you'll know, you'll know the dragonborn's cause. Um, three days time by my diary. Yes. By the way, sunlight shining through that um, sphere there, the rays. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. You give an old man hope. Hey, Kalisimo. I have things to study. What is it? I've been sent by Mara to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Yes, I do. Then you know what a beauty she is. Mm. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. Um, you're probably overthinking this. That may be the case, but she is as volatile as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. Is there anyone who knows what she likes? There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time. And he may have some ideas. Please ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. You horny, horny old bugger. Yeah, but I suppose he's um, an elf. You can live, live up to. The I've discovered in the Schoenzell will make history one day. Two hundred up to three hundred years. So you know, <laughs> plenty of guy left in the old stick. One silver. Hello. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Uh, more blood is always better. Then you found your home, friend. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. Welcome. He's one of these really thick people. Um, can't see. Oh, 
Takes all types. I've heard you might know about Feline, what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? Yeah. Um... Oh, it's not for me, it's for Calissimo. Calissimo? Is he interested in Feline? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like... I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Oh, it's gonna cost me. Seems like a lot of money. Come back when you got the gold then. Um, alright. Bet that palm. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Alright, two hundred gold. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. Okay. Great, thanks a lot. A very long, long arrow range. There's no way you could, um... Hats to yourself, sneak thief. No way you could, uh... Attack him. The one that I gave the potion of the stallion to. And... Uh, this pretty red guard woman. Aline. Hello. As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. <coughs> hey, I'd like to speak to you about Calisimo. Calselmo? Yeah. What about him? What do you think of him? Think of him? <laughs> He's an odd little man, always poking around the rooms and wasting time in his museum. Seems friendly enough, obviously intelligent. Why do you ask? Uh, yes. Feelings for you. What? You're out of your mind. That old coot's more interested in dead dwarves than anybody around here. Don't talk such rot. It's true. He's told me. Please, stop wasting my time. You're embarrassing yourself. Did I do this wrong? Igman's father was killed by Forsworn. I won't rest until they've paid with their blood. He's written a poem. I'd like you to read it. Pardon me? It's from Calissimo. Please, Calissimo. I'm not sure what this is all about. Here, read it. This is lovely. Calselmo wrote this? Calselmo. About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. He really cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Alright. I have to get him some salient potion to put up with you. Yeah, not wrong. Listen to the place. It sounds like that song. Welcome to the machine. Probably should have had a look at the poem. Hey, Calcimo. I have things to study. What is it? Um, yeah. I have a delivery from Kira. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting to pick that up. Poor Kira. Such a patient woman. Now, you're supposed to get something for your trouble, aren't you? How about some gold? People seem to like that, I notice. 
Oh yeah, that's pretty decent of you. And also, I have a letter from Feline. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please, excuse me. Is that it? Going in the old. You can run. Hello. Pauline, bye. Shh. It's all right. You don't need to say anymore. I had no idea you were so nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here. Okay, is that okay? Um, right, ring. You set the other. Uh, and the palm cost me two hundred. I work silver, like my father. And his father before him. What um, can I do for you? I have done hey, you. enough. Yeah, you. Fresh meat for your stomach? Um, right, that's the gate. Is there anything else I need to do here? Red Guard craftsmanship in um, every piece. Oh, did you need something? What can I do for you? All right. Okay, yes. thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Nothing too much happened. Um, but what these things do happen. All right, thank you very much. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'd love to catch us all back next what time. See you later.